What's good, y'all? This is Trackmakers from Keys, Pads, and Faders. Uh, I decided to do a little revamp of my YouTube channel, rebranding and stuff. Uh, so that's what I came up with. Here go the nice merch. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I got the nice merch and it got a little thing on in the front and stuff. So the first video back, it's been a crazy couple weeks. We're going to do an in-depth tutorial on sampling in Ableton the MPC style way. So at the bottom of this video, you'll see, you'll be able to see where like I made certain packs and you got like the sample packs that I'm going to be using. And uh, you I actually the MPC chop preset. So first thing we want to do is Let's let's get a sample. Let's. All right, so we're gonna drop that in there now. Okay, let's drop it in there now. Of course, double click it. We can see with the the warp over here is because you want to it says it's 123 so we can keep that there and we'll take up our tempo to like 140 130 no 140 so then let me loop this real quick okay so let's listen to it <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do everything in the MPC chop uh, slice preset. So you want to go down. So let's start. Up. You want to right click, go to slice to new MIDI track. Okay. And here you'll see the little, you know, bar clip region, all that good stuff. So what I go to is I go to my MPC chops because I made it. It will preserve the warp timings and everything, and it will slice it. So if I do bars, it will be eight slices. If we want to do 16 slices, we go one half, 32 for one fourth. So we can do bar for this one. So you hit OK. Let's mute this. So now what it did was it sliced it as if you was in the MPC. <laughs> Okay, so now you wanted to you want to hit one and be able to just play it, right? That's how the MPC is. I'm a big MPC guy also, but I've been on my Ableton kick. So you want to bring this release up right here. So when we hit it, Okay, so in here, we can mess with the gain if we want to, bring it up, turn it down. We can mess with the pitch. So we go up some. Okay, also what we can do is we can do filters. We can do that, we can do, so mess with their phone. We can muffle it. Telephone it. So we'll put that and you know what I might.
Okay. Also, this uh, particular sample is if you're watching the video down in the video, there's a little link and it says sample, sample, samples. And this sample is actually in there. Also, what we're going to do is on this one, we're going to go to, let's go to my Teflon kit. All right, because what I want to do is I want to, where is my Teflon kit at? Mm, I forgot to save it where I wanted it at. Okay, so let's go down to here. Let's go, where is it at? Matter of fact, I'm going to save it right now because I'll always forget. Okay, boom. Let's go right there. Okay, so we're going to go down to the drum loops. Actually, we're going we're gonna to use this drum loop. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to play the chops towards it. This drum loop is in the Teflon kit, the Ableton Teflon kit or the MPC Teflon kit. Once again, you can see it at the bottom of the video. You could click on it if you want it. But let's go right here. Let's take those out. We can mute that and let's add some chops to it real quick. There we go. Now let's quantize it. Bang. That's one way we could do it, or we can go ahead. We can just make the beat, lose everything uh, from scratch, add some stuff on her. I had somebody ask me where I get my hi hat loops from. Most of my hi hat loops come from uh, the sample lab, and it would be mm, let's see, what's what's the producer's name? It is DJ Payne got some nice hi hat loops, but the one that I'm always using is where is it at? It's like mm, Diamond Stash. I get a lot of my hi hoops, hi hat loops from the Diamond Stash. So let's put that in there. We're just going to make some up right now. Let me see. So that's a little bit too fast for that sample. So we would take it like down to like 150. Let's add some stuff in there. And that's too slow. I don't like the way that sound.
I'll start off with that one. I like that one. So let's fix that up because that sounds horrible right now. Don't judge me. Let's quantize this real quick. Right here. Take that out. Take that out. Move that over. Move that over right there. Bang like that. Move that over. I messed that all the way up, yeah. Don't judge me. You yeah, don't judge me, but we're doing this for right now. Then we can add the uh, Teflon kit. So that's how you use the MPC MIDI slicer preset that I made right there. Nice and easy. Got everything you need. You don't need too many things. And from here, I mean, you can add whatever else you want to do, whatever you want, all the other stuff. But pretty much you're set right there once you do that. So this is the. That's the end of this video. Like, we're done with this one. We can go to the next one. I catch y'all in a second. Oh,